Bada boom. Bada boom, bada bing. Let's take the time out right now. Disregard, disregard the corona, disregard politics, disregard the rappers, disregard. Let's get back to the streets. Let's get back to the real streets of Brooklyn with the real dudes at. You know, I want to give a special shout out to Derek Hamilton. Special shout out to Julio Acevedo, which we call Wemo. You know, one of the most notorious killers of the real 50 Cent. You're, shout out to Wemo. Now, here's an article that I need y'all to read and understand. You know, October 21st, it came out, 2020. A conviction has been overturned once again. Shout out to him. Shout out to Jinx the Juvie. I'm glad they bring the real back. Get these fake dudes up out of here. You heard? All these dudes have been living out here all this time with their fake stories and the fake rhymes and riddles and all that. Deceased, you heard? <laughs> Fakes. That's facts, you heard? But um, check it out. The driver who killed Globus gets convictions over turning the story about Wemo, you heard? A.K.A. Julio Acevedo. Julio Acevedo, who was sentenced to 25 years of life in prison for killing a re Reb Notchman and Reezy Glober and a baby born prematurely in a car accident in 2013 has had his convictions overturned and decision handed down Wednesday the second judicial department of the appellate court of New York State. He had previously been convicted of manslaughter. We're going to get to that. We're going to get to that. He had previously been convicted of manslaughter in the second degree and criminally next to homicide. Now, bing, I'm going to stop right there. We're going to get back to it. Now, the previous conviction he had with manslaughter from a homicide was the case with 50 Cent. Melvin, you heard? Melvin, you heard? Unfortunately, um, unfortunately during his demise, um, Wemo, who's in, who's in Attic with me in 95, like I said, man, I'm going to shout this shit out again. Derek Hamilton, shout out, to, shout out to Derek Hamilton, you heard? Shout out to Bush, you heard? Stay on this grind. Jailhouse, one of the best jailhouse lawyers in the world, you heard? But make a long story short, he got Wemo conviction overturned in 95 and 96 on, through the conviction overturned through the Pell Division under the law duress. You know what I mean? It was duress. You know, if y'all know what duress is, that means someone held accountable or against their own. Um, and they had to commit certain crimes because they were fear of their family being harmed or injured, things of that nature. That's what duress means. But anyway, Wemo came home off a 25-year sentence off of that. Did only 12. Came home, okay? So shout out to Bush on that one, all right? Now we're going to go back to the story, man. Shout out to, to Bush on that one. Shout out to Wemo. Now... The other convictions have been vacated due to the court concluding the evidence against him was legally insufficient. There was not enough to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that Acevedo had been driving so recklessly his actions and fit the criteria for the criminal negligence. He will face resentencing on the remaining conviction of leaving the scene of an incident without reporting. Now, you know, Leaving the scene without reporting don't guarantee you 20 years in prison. We know that. He may even get time served. The remaining of his sentence, he might even get time served. So we got shout out to Bush again. Shout out to Bush again, you heard, for beating and, and, and You know, we, we deal with each other with law when it comes to criminality. And this is what things that we got we to gotta, we gotta soak this into. We, I mean, if you, you into things, you, you got to learn the opposite you got, it's just like the enemy, you know, you, you, you got enemies and you got to learn their character, you got to learn their patterns, you know, it's not the person that you got to study, it's the patterns, and it, this law is patterns, law is strictly patterns, you heard, and these are things that's beatable, no matter how much, no matter how much, you know, uh, uh, horrific a crime may be, they still, by law, can be in a, pertain to in a civilized court that will, you know, deter it not being a life sentence. You know, maybe a few years here and there, things of that nature. Yeah, that's what it is. 
You know what I'm saying? If you know, if you, you, you're a professional in the street, you should know. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to go back. Okay. On March 3rd, 2013, the Globals were on their way from Williamsburg to Long Island Jewish Hospital when the car service in which they were riding was hit by a speeding BMW driven by Acevedo. Ms. Global was expecting a couple's first child. The 2015 sentence of 25 to life was considered unusually harsh for the charges, but Acevedo had had an extensive criminal record. See this. See this. What goes without saying about you know, um, you know, our past history, our past history, and these are matters like this thing that. It, you know, it wasn't an intentional homicide, not at all. He was driving, and he did leave the scene of the crime, and that's about all he did. And the reason of the scene of the crime could be so many things. You know, he could have been getting chased. He could have been somebody trying to try to kill him, or you know, or he may have been nervous. You know, of course you're gonna go to a panic mode when you accidentally hit someone with a car. Not knowing, it's no motive behind what you did. It's, it's, it's not even a motive why these people were killed. I mean, you got to understand that the nature of the nature of his life and their lifestyle was totally opposite. They was this Jewish couple. She was pregnant. We know, as you know, it's not intentional. We won't kill kids intentionally. We don't do none of that. So I I find it so much more reasonable that. That punishment of 25 to life, that max, that, that was too harsh for him on it. You heard? And, 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 I, and I applaud, like I said, I applaud Derek Hamilton once again, the jailhouse lawyer. You know what I mean? Wrongfully convicted man. You heard? To get Remo out the second time. His second conviction, his second homicide. You heard? We got to take this into contents about what, and what are the results of every criminality that we are may not circumstantially be involved in or directly be involved in. You have to take this to another level of knowing when, what, where, and how to resolve these issues as a criminal. That's it. With a past. That's it. You know what I mean? So, you know, uh, shout out once again to Julio Acevedo. Shout out once again to Bush for a second conviction overturned by the appellate division. Bush doing a good job, doing an excellent job, and yo, I'm a salute. Salute Bush, salute Wemo. You know, may your love, may your family be blessed. So much more important. I'm fortunate for the people. My condolences to the Jewish people as well. You know what I mean? Salute to also. My condolences always. You know, so, you know, and I know both parties laws. But law is law. And that's it. Salute. One.